Hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Epiphany. It's so good to be here with all of you today. I wanted to say thank you for all your prayers as I recovered. So recently, we've talked about a couple of figures in our nativity so far. And today, I wanted to talk to you briefly about the wise ones, or sometimes we hear them call the magi, these, these three here. What can you tell me about them? What's their story? Why are they so important to Jesus' story? Any ideas? What do you think? Well, these wise ones, or magi, as we'll hear them called, they followed a star, which shone brightly in the sky to guide them as they traveled at night to Mary and Joseph and Jesus. And these wise ones each had gifts to give, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I have no idea why they chose those gifts, but I can imagine that they were valuable gifts. Today, we begin the season of Epiphany. So we just finished the season of Advent while we were waiting, and we're starting this new season called Epiphany. Can you say that at home? Epiphany. In this season of the church year, we read stories from the Bible and think about how God's presence in the world shines brightly, like the star that the Magi followed to Bethlehem. There are some really cool ways that some people celebrate the season of Epiphany, and today we're going to share in one practice together. So on this Star Sunday, when we remember how God's love shines like the star that guided the wise ones that night, we receive the gift of a star word. Maybe you've done this at home or even here at St. Matthew's before. If we were gathered in person, I'd have sparkly cards for you to choose from with a special word written on each of them. And these words are meant to be a gift to guide you all year round. Of course, this year, we have to be creative in how we do things, and we're going to have to do it a little bit differently as our community gathers together on our own screens and in our own homes. So come close, I have a surprise for you. I have six different star words and each one has its own color, its own special star. And I want you in just a minute, I'm gonna show you the stars that I painted and I want you to first pick a color and a star that you think is yours for this year. Okay, are you ready? So you don't have to say anything, just hold it in your mind. So I have this red star and these yellow stars, can you see them? And I have this blue star and this orange star and this green star and this purple star. So did you pick a star or a color that you like? Give me a thumbs up. Did y'all pick one that you like? All right, so in a minute, I'm going to turn over these stars and you're going to see your word for this year. And you can take a crayon or a colored pencil and write your word on a piece of paper and put it someplace in your house where you can see it every day and let it guide you in the new year. Okay, are you ready? All right, so if you chose the red star, your word is create. Create. And if you picked the yellow stars, your word is dream. And if you chose this blue star, your word this year 
is discover. If you picked this orange star, your word is explore. And if you picked the green star, your word is connect. And if you picked the purple star, your word this year is wonder. So whatever star you chose, whatever word is yours, know that the meaning might change throughout the year. Wonder could be a questioning word, or it could be full of awe. Each of these words might have a different meaning to you as you learn and grow and shine in God's love this year. So write down your word and remember it and let it guide you in this new year. Will you all pray this epiphany prayer with me? Dear God, thank you for guiding us with your love in our hearts. Help us to shine brightly this year in our own unique and compassionate ways, bringing more of your bright love into this world. Amen. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm so glad that you were here.